Hi, everyone. And uh, it's an absolute pleasure for me to be hosting this week's WQ Champion. Um, I've had the uh, pleasure of being associated with the WQ community for uh, the last two decades, uh, you know, ever through its inception. And uh, today is really very special because we are going to be talking to Neha. And um, I've been uh, personally coaching Neha and guiding her for about five months now. And let me tell you to uh, really say the least, you know, Neha is just about any coach's delight, you know, and uh, she's been an absolute pleasure to work with. And as her coach, you know, I'm so very, very proud of her commitment and, uh, you know, her overcoming. So Neha, um, can you please uh, bring up Neha and spotlight her? So Neha, hi. Um, I hope you are excited to be here with us as well. And uh, how about I hand it over to you to introduce yourself to the WQ community and to our guests. Thank you so much, Andrika, for the awesome lines. And uh, I think it's been an introduction in itself. However, uh, from my mouth, um, I'm, I'm Neha Sana, and I hail from Delhi, but I am in Bangalore since uh, 2014, yeah. And um, I have been uh, married for more than three years now. And very recently, uh, we are, you know, we, kind of, we are promoted from being a, blissful couple to a blessed to blessed parents let me put it that way and very recently we have you know we welcomed our baby girl uh, our angel face is what I call her uh, Araya and uh, yeah I, I on a on professional front I am an engineering manager and working with a German product organization here in Bangalore. Okay thank you for that Neha and um... So Neha, I want to ask you this, you know, uh, when we really get on to a wellness program, you know, um, we all usually start from a not so very great place, you know. So can I really request you to give us a sneak peek into your physical health parameters before you really started on this program with me? Oh, um, I'm in one word, if I have to define it, Chandrika, it would be horrible. Like <laughs> when, when I when when I started this journey, um, it, from all the aspects, I was on a, uh, it was downside on all the aspects. So I, throughout my life, like since the time I have been, uh, you know, on my feet, I've been dependent on food platforms, outside food, um, Swiggy, Zomato are all my rescue, were all my rescuers at, you know, for all the meals. And uh, I, I've been, uh, you know, from the, from the trade of mine, I'm a true workaholic and that would, you know, that would give me like uh, all around, uh, you'll find me on my machine working. And naturally my food habits were, you know, uh, on a toss, completely, extremely nonsensical. I used to eat anything and everything at any given oldest hour. So you can, you, you, you can, you can't even possibly imagine what it could have done to me internally, but uh, yeah. And uh, post delivery, my food cravings and, uh, especially the food, the sweet, the sweet cravings were, uh, you know, paramount. It, it was uh, horrible and no physical activity was there. Um, hair fall, PCOD, postpartum depression, extreme weight gain, you name it. And I had it. It was like that. So it was, I was in a bad state. My God, that was a lot, Neha. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so also tell us this, Neha, that, uh, you know, how did you really feel about the whole thing, you know, because uh, when our health is down, it's not just about how it manifests physically, you know, there's a big way it tells on us, you know, mentally as well as emotionally. So how would you describe your uh, state, you know, uh, mentally and emotionally at that time? I was, uh, I was actually depressed you know, depressed, I would uh, not shy away from saying that there was stress and depressed both hand in hand, walking with me. And uh, initially, I, I, all my life, I've been very confident, you know, very confident person. Uh, and that was my intriguing trait, actually, uh, people used to get intimidated, and people used to admire that. 
However, uh, post delivery, I could see that, you know, that particular trait of mine, which was once my highlight was uh, diminished, it, it was actually, uh, you know, on a downhill. And uh, obviously, I, you know, postpartum dep depression is one thing, being anxious all the time, you know, uh, angry for no reason, mood switches, and uh, the increased weight gain. Uh, I, you know, I ended up stop looking at the mirror. I did not like the person reflecting back. And these are all from my heart, you know, this is all what has actually happened at one point of time. I just didn't want to look in the mirror, uh, passing through a mirror and I used to just gaze away. I, I never used to look back. So it, it that is what uh, I, ha I had actually become. And uh, with the pressure of uh, being a hands-on mom, I... I did not want, you know, I didn't want, I did not want any help uh, at this early stage of, for my baby. I felt it's too early to introduce any foreign person to her. So I, I wanted to be myself, a hands-on mom. And uh, my another baby, which is my team my, in my office. So I wanted to ensure that, you know, even that is handled properly. So I wanted to be equally, you know, working with the same passion I used to work earlier, uh, post my delivery also for my team as well. And then uh, ensuring that, you know, all the relations that I am currently, you know, being tagged with, they are also moving along with me with the same pace, with the same zeal, with the same, uh, you know, enthu. So it was too much. Uh, I do remember matter. it so very vividly, Neha, uh, you know, whatever you used to tell me, because when we used to talk, it was so very clear in your tone, you know, it, it your tone, the way you used to speak clearly reflected of, you know, all that you are telling us right now, right? So uh, anyway, that, you know, there was that day and here we are today, right? Fast forward uh, our wellness journey of the last five months, Neha. I want to ask you, you know, after completing the program and after a whooping 23 kgs weight loss, you know, where is it that you feel you stand today, really? You know, physically, mentally, emotionally, where do you think you are? <laughs> that is particularly that, uh, you know, I say that I've been given wins. So I'm flying high. Uh, it, 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 this is something, you know, um, it, it looks like a number 23, um, but, and, and Chandrika, you know, we aimed at 20. Yes. We aimed that it should be 20 kgs, but then, yeah, it's 23. And um, hopefully- It's still going strong. Still going strong, yeah. So, and uh, it's, it's amazing, you know, um, the mirror is back, to put it, you know, mirror is back. I don't shy away from looking at mirror now. I take my own sweet time to get ready <laughs> and uh, uh, there's a lot of improvement in my, you know, hair fall. Um, of course, people will say post delivery things happen. They gradually, you know, they gradually get better. But what is that gradual, you know, I, I could not, you know, it's, it's very subjective that gradual thing. What is that gradual? What is the timeline? And how long can you know not like yourself? How long you cannot like yourself? So I did not want to wait for that. And now I see that there is no gradual time. You do you want to do it, you do it. And so of my self-confidence has bounced back. I I'm, you know, I'm I no more uh, hide away from people. I go out. Uh, in my apartment, I take my baby along with me. I walk uh, with my baby, no stroller, nothing. I hold her in my arms and I I walk. I walk like crazy and people actually, you know, they turn around, they look at me and a few of them just, uh, they, they've remarked also. Kitna strength hai, baby ko utha ke kitna chalti hai. It's like typical term, you know, how much can she walk with her baby? We guys are tired even the male members, you know, so that is how the situation is. And my food cravings, no doubt they have, you know, they've vanished. I will not say they've subsided. They've just poof, gone. <laughs> I remember the last time we went out, Neha. Oh and yeah. Yeah. That's, that's another incident. We went out and I was actually, 
telling her, no, no, I don't want to eat that. There's a lot of sugar in that. And then I'm like, whom am I telling it to? <laughs> but then it was, it was a fun, uh, fun day and it was amazing. Yeah. Wow. I think if I remember you telling me, uh, I think right now you don't have a maid. You've checked out your maids. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, and you wanted to take care of the baby on your own. And, uh, you know, your house and I know your house is so well kept and so beautiful and, uh, you know, your hubby you have to take care of. And I'm just saying that I think it's uh, you living the life that you wanted, living it on your own terms, whichever way it is, but it's in on your own terms. And I think. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It may not be perfect as, you know, as, as, as someone can quote, but it is on my own terms as what you just now said. No maid, I just, you know, I don't want, I don't always, uh, I was in this, you know, situation wherein what time she will she come, what time will she go, and then I have to manage my baby also, and this also, that also. Now, I don't have it, I don't have that tension because I can venture myself into that zone. It's not like, you know, why have you chucked out your maid? Why don't you have a maid? You know, you can, it's about the strength you have. yeah, things will become easier for you. Why is she doing all this? I do this because I can do it now, you know. That is what has, uh, and that has come only because my health allows me to do it in spite of uh, so much of such mountain of work. Oh, Chandrika, you're on mute, it seems. I think you're on mute. Still. Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. So, Neha, uh, you know, with whatever you told, uh, you know, I'm sure you're really a star already and a health icon for so many of us over here right now. And, um, you know, I want to tell you guys one thing, you know, what really helped me help Neha through and through, you know, was the fact that um, not only was she absolutely transparent about uh, her habits and her situation, but more importantly, you know, she, she came with an attitude of acceptance, uh, teachability and commitment, right? You know, she, she easily accepted and understood where she was. Um, she was very, very teachable as in, you know, she was really willing to learn uh, from her coach without questioning. You know, she really never questioned me. She did ask me a lot of questions, but never really, you know, questioned me. And um, whatever I taught her and whatever I told her, you know, she's really done that with full honesty and commitment. You know, um, if she ever erred, you know, she's never hidden that for me uh, from me. Okay, so I think I think what Neha really understood was that, you know, if she would give her 100%, you know, the coach is really there with her 200% really, right? And and that's that's really something that, you know, she was a smooth ride for me, really. Okay, so uh, Neha, I want to ask you this, you know, what or who do you really credit for this successful transformation of yours? Okay, <laughs> you. The first word that comes is you, you know, I, despite everything, it's not, uh, you know, it's, it's really heartfelt. It's not something which is uh, only mentioned for the namesake. It's not that. So despite me being, you know, the person who has to do it, but at a lot of times you just need somebody to trigger you, you know, to give you that sort of motivation to help you stay consistent it's not about just starting, you know, starting your journey. It's more, it's also about staying consist consistent, persistent, and staying motivated all throughout. Because never ever in your life you'll see results reaping out immediately, you know, with a immediately with a just moment of a wand or something. It doesn't happen like that. So you have always been that motivating factor uh, who's always around and uh, so approachable so yeah definitely it is you and then uh, of course it is uh, my you know my my family like my husband because he's been through it he's seen me from you know every phase of mine he's uh, tolerated me uh, postpartum thing actually tol tolerated literally and he's still doing I think however <laughs> but yeah so he uh, he's the one he's uh, agreed he's no no for being a no fuss eater whatever i want to eat and then the moment i switched to these healthy diets he was he was happiest on earth he was like okay now i'm gonna get food which i really want to eat and uh, and my baby because i have been you know i've been 
those little times that uh, I took out for myself, which are important, you know, you are important, you are a mother, you are a wife, you are a daughter, you are everything. You are you. And unless you are you, you can't be everything else. So the little time that I took out for myself, I'm sure my little baby, she's 10 months now. So when I started, she was four months, four or five months. So you can imagine she, she gave me that time. So yeah, she. Super awesome, Neha. Thank you. So Neha, there are many people right now who've joined us, you know, who've either just started their journey, you know, they, or they're contemplating starting one. Uh, you know, my last question to you would be, you know, what would, uh, you know, what would you advise them really? You know, if somebody's thinking about starting on their journey, what would be that one piece of advice for them? Um, you just mentioned sometime back, you know, that I heard you, I was listening to you always. And, you know, so I would say, uh, coach is somebody, you know, who comes with a lot of experience and uh, whatever they formulate, they formulate based upon you, primarily you as an individual. It's not about what you say, but they also understand you to your core. They try to do that. And what they formulate is keeping everything in mind. So I would say, give yourself wholeheartedly to that, you know, give that commitment uh, to the coach and uh, question them, question them wherever, whenever you have questions, don't seek, don't feel, don't ever feel that, oh, is this a silly question? What will the person think about me? You know, they'll judge me. No, doesn't happen. Let them, even if somebody, if you feel somebody is judging you, let them. But ask, be open, get your doubts clarified and wholeheartedly commit yourself to the, you know, to, to your goal, I would say. So if you, and my routine doesn't allow me, my health doesn't allow me, my family doesn't allow me. All these things are there and I completely get it. I completely get it, you know, but you have a goal. Trust yourself in that. Trust your coach in that journey. And no matter how much paramount things look in the beginning, no matter, you know, you don't see results coming out in the beginning, still hold on a little bit more. And uh, perseverance is the key, you know, just, just hold on tight. And the moment you start seeing something, it'll be in abundance. You'll just give into the flow. Listen to your coach and uh, you're done. Wow. Thank you, Neha. Thank you so much, you know, for making the time to come and talk to all of us. And all of us from the WQ com uh, community, really thank you and wish you all the very best in your future endeavors. And uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chandrika and WQ for giving me this new lifestyle and which is going to be with me all throughout now.